What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones. Representing Pump Chasers. All right, baby. So, it's showtime. The show is actually tomorrow. It is 9 a.m. All right. Denise is downstairs getting that uh, breakfast. You know how they got free breakfast and shit like that. So, wish I was getting some of that. But, you know, we're on the grind. now. Right now, it's 9.30 a.m. We didn't go to bed till like, man, 4.30 a.m. And my last meal was at like 2. I finished my water at 3. So I'm holding water. I'm going to keep it all the way real with you, man. I never competed for it before. So waking up holding like 2 pounds of water makes me a little nervous. Even though I know I'm going to eventually pee it out anyway. I'm not going to take that in the chance, man. So what we're going to do is get dressed. Um, go downstairs and get a good sweat. In the, uh, they got a treadmill downstairs, so we're going to put our hoodie on and shit, put up some sweatpants on, go walk for 30 minutes at a brisk pace, get a good sweat. We're not leaving nothing to chance. We came this far. We're, we're not leaving nothing to chance, guys. And then I'm going to do two more gallons today, but I'm going to try to get those two gallons in really fast so I can pee everything out. Anything I'm holding, pee that shit out. And I'm also going to start taking in some carbs so I can have some glycogen in my muscles for tomorrow. So it's going to be a pretty interesting day, guys. I thought it would be cool to vlog for you. Also, before we get any further, yes, man, the hairline's making an appearance. The forehead's making an appearance. Get used to it. Make your hairline, make your forehead jokes now. It's time to grind, baby. This is what Denise got. I'm not going to show you all. She, she, she just woke up, guys. This is Denise's plate. Guys, I deserve a trophy. Maybe not first place, but just a trophy for living with Denise, smelling all her good food, and I stayed on my diet. Just yep. give me a trophy for that alone, please. <laughs> so, this is why I'm looking like, let me show you what I'm looking like. No pump first thing in the morning, so check it out. I'm rolling my boxes up so you can see the sweeping in the legs. Okay, this is the leg. The lighting's not that great here. The lighting's not that great, but here's how I'm looking. Hold on. Set my legs. Okay. Flare my lats. All right, so this is how I'm looking, man. What you think, baby? You look good, baby. You really? You look like you're ready. All right. Ready, ready. So we're going to go down there and do a little cardio to sweat some of this water weight I'm holding. I'm holding like two pounds of water. Probably no big deal, but we aren't taking nothing that chance. We've been dieting our ass off. Denise's been cooking her ass off. And we need to make sure and we leave nothing, absolutely nothing yeah. to chance. But this is what I'm looking like, guys. All right. This is how I'm looking. Just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to fucking do battle. Ready to get this shit over with. All right, guys. So look it up. We got gallon number one. We're going to do two gallons today. We don't cut water, man. We're going to do two gallons like usual, but we're going to try to get all the water in early so we can pee all through the night and come in nice and tight. That's why I'm holding water right now. I didn't finish my water and my meals to like three in the morning, so... I'm going to get all my water and my meals in pretty early, all right? Got my sweats on, Pump Chaser sweats, and I got an old school Pump Chaser hoodie just to keep me warm, keep my body heat nice and warm, and I'm going to go give me a nice little sweat, do a brisk walk downstairs in the um, hotel cardio room. You know, like I said, that little two pounds of water I'm holding is probably nothing, but we're not taking nothing a chance. I've dieted my ass off. All the all the cooking Denise has done for me, I don't want it to be in vain. We're gonna man, we're gonna make this day count, guys. Anytime you travel, like flying, driving for a long period of time, you can risk holding water, man. No big deal. All right, guys, so check it out. I brought this from the house. Got my uh, magnesium. All right. And I'm still on a Cuts FTS. Just make sure I get my two gallons of water in to keep flushing things out. Take my Cuts FTS for, for this morning energy. All right. Got my magnesium. Don't forget, Palm Chaser Subs. Link is in the description. It's supposed to be four grams. I went five by acid damp, but no big deal. No big deal. 
Guys, you won't believe this shit, man. It is like freezing, and I'm not joking, not even exaggerating. It is literally freezing fucking cold in here. I would say maybe 60 degrees if I had to guess. Try to see if I can open this window and get some warm air in here. I can't get a good sweat like this, man. All right, check it out, man. There we go. Get some of this cold ass air up out of here, man. Easy money. At the end of the day, today is all about getting my mind right, trying to relax, and just bringing a good package tomorrow. We're not trying to have a Rocky movie style training sessions here. We're just trying to contract the muscles, connect with the muscles, get some carbs in us, keep that water weight down. That's all we're trying to do. Tomorrow's the big day. We're less than 24 hours away. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't do nothing crazy. A crazy high rep ab workout would just potentially cause water retention and inflammation in my body we do not need. Just wanna get maybe two sets, high reps, nothing to failure, move on. Nice twists on the obliques, you know, simple shit, man. Guys, if you want those deep, Deep lines in your abs. You gotta pause. Don't just throw your body around. Come through, blow the air out, pause, feel that pain, back down. Feel the pain, back down. Feel the pain. Don't just throw your legs around. That's all, all the ab exercises, even crunches. Blow the air, pause. Blow the air, pause. That's how you get those deep lines, man. Like I told you guys many times. You can fool motherfuckers all day and all night when you got fat on your body. But when you get lean, you find out who uses that good form. Same with my arm. People are so surprised when they see that outer head detail. And I tell people all the time, crack the walnut. Don't just stop here. You got to come here. Get that extra half an inch to an inch range of motion. It makes a difference. All right, guys. Just a nice, brisk walk. Don't want to go too hard because you don't want to risk burning through muscle glycogen. We need that for tomorrow. Just want to sweat a little water out. Shit, maybe even a little fat because I am fasted. So, do this for about 20, 25 minutes. And then go back to the room. All right, guys. So, I'm, I'm, on, I'm back in the hotel room now on my fitness pal. Most of my clients use my fitness pal to track their macros. So I'm pretty much setting up, setting up my macros for the day. I'm torn somewhere between 200 to 300 grams of carbs. I'm not going to do one of those crazy 800 gram carb ups you hear about on Instagram and shit like that. I'm not one of those genetic freaks that can take in a million grams of carbs and show up looking tight and defined, you know. I got to find that happy medium, so... Somewhere between two and 300 grams of carbs is going to be good for me. Keep in mind, guys, I mean, look look how I look this morning. I look pretty damn good. I look like all I have to do is go backstage, get a good pump, maybe have some crackers or some salt to get a good pump. And I could have walked on stage today. So there's no need to risk spilling over, getting a bloated midsection that I worked so hard to tighten up. You know, so I can indulge in a fuckload of carbs. We're going to keep the diet pretty much close to where I've been. Just add a little extra carbs so I can have some energy for tomorrow. Because keep in mind, posing on that stage, keeping those legs tight the whole time, keeping that stomach in the whole time, keeping the whole body tense burns a shitload of calories and carbs. So we're just going to get a little more extra carbs for that and that reason only. We're not going to... Uh, do a thousand grams of carbs and all that bullshit. That that I'm not one of those genetic elites, you know. If I eat like shit, I look like shit. If I eat good, if I eat perfect, as you see, I get in great shape. So I'm not one of those genetic. Genetically, I have a great structure. I have great muscle bellies. I have great insertions and all that shit. But when it comes to nutrition, man, I can't do all that crazy shit everybody else do. I can't eat pizza. And, and look like a million bucks. You know, that's just not me. All right, guys. You already know Chef Denise takes care of me, man. Damn good care of me. I'm a, uh, I, yes, my hands are clean. Shut the fuck up. I already know somebody going to say something. <laughs> my hands are clean. And this is my food. Denise ain't even eating this shit. Why would she? 
Shit. <laughs> she can eat anything she wants. Yeah, I still do my creatine monohydrate and fiber the day before the show. And I'm going to try to get all my meals in before 8. That way the food can digest, man. Um, I don't want to be bloated or constipated or have to take a dump close to my show. My stomach is flat as tight as possible. So let's get this shit started. All right, guys. So we're about to go ahead and check on these online clients. Here's the first meal. We got veggies. We got chicken and shrimp. And for carbs, we're just going to keep it simple today, guys. We're just going to stick with the rice cakes. I've been eating these the majority of my prep. Why change the shit now? I never understood why people change their fucking diet a few days before the stage. I know how it is digested in my stomach. I know when I eat this, it doesn't bloat me. I know what to expect. I know how I wake up in the morning when I eat these foods. Why change now? Let's just keep it the same. Check it out. Only two meals with carbs. I had the same exact meal twice. Only 100 grams of carbs in and look at me. See, I don't need a bunch of carbs. Okay, so this is what I'm about to do, guys. I'm about to go train, do a nice, light, full upper body workout. Just to kind of deplete a little bit and make my body crave carbs, you know. Uh, it's all about supply and demand. I mean, if there's no demand for carbs... Where's the carbs going to go? So I'm going to really make my body want more carbs before I start putting more in. And I hate to shave my body because I'm about to get a tan. A big part of bodybuilding is skincare, guys. So uh, got a little razor right here. I got the uh, gel, the shaving gel in my gym bag. I mean, in my uh, luggage, I'm going to go get that. But I'm about to shave my body real good. I got clippers here, wireless for sensitive areas. You know, I mean by you know what I mean by sensitive areas. You know, sensitive areas. You know, um, so clippers for sensitive areas. And right now, fun fact: uh, my chest is very sensitive. I every time I shave my chest, guys, it breaks out like a motherfucker. However, I am getting on stage tomorrow, and I want my shit to be smooth. So. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice, go ahead and get that smooth chest. It's going to break out by Sunday, but at least I'll, you know, I'll be smooth for the stage. But I never really shave my chest with razors. I trust me, every time I do, once the hair starts to grow back, I get so many bumps. All right, homies and homettes, I shaved my body. I moisturized really good, so hopefully my chest don't break out. If I could just make it to Saturday with no bumps, that'd be great. I don't care if I break out Sunday. But it takes like a whole week for my chest to heal from all the bumps. So hopefully I don't break out to like Sunday or Monday. So I shaved, exfoliated my whole body, you know, with the scrubs. Get dead skin or anything. All the tan shows better when you're smooth. And I lotioned up really well. So I'm about to go train. Check out, look how I'm looking with only two meals with carbs, guys. See this shit? This is why I don't got to do one of those big carb ups. Honestly, it would do me no good. I carb up just fine with moderate carbs. At the end of the day, this is a bodybuilding show. This is not a contest of who can eat the most carbs and, and pose on cake and ice cream. We're on stage trying to show ourselves looking our best. And for me to look my best, it does not take a lot of carbs. It just I just got to get lean and fill out to where I fill out just enough. And This is the look I want to bring to the stage. This is the look I want to bring. I don't want to be no overly pumped guy. Can't even suck my stomach in because I had 80 pancakes at IHOP before the show. I'm not one of those motherfuckers. This is the look I'm trying to bring. Classic lines. So anyway, we're about to go to the gym. Denise is coming with me. All right. We went to this place called Elite Fitness. Brandon Vasquez is already here. He says it's a pretty dope place to get it in. He's gonna do a nice 30 to 40 minute uh, superset full body style workout. Make the body crave for these carbs. As you see, I'm already pumped. Honestly, I don't even need to crave any more carbs. But you know, we're going for the gusto, baby. We're going. We, we applying that pressure. We're gonna see if we can make the body soak up even more carbs for tomorrow. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a light pump workout, light walk of cardio, and then just work on our posing later and just try to relax, man. The work has already been done. 
Oh, speaking of the devil, here you got the shades on. I see you, brother. All right, guys, we up in the gym. As you see, we got it pretty much to ourselves. Light calf, baby. Get some calf. All the way back. Guys, we're not even trying to build no muscle. You one day out, you ain't got no damn muscle. A pump worker ain't gonna do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, homies at home, man. So we headed to the spot to for the athletes meeting. I got my chicken, shrimp, and veggies right here. With another smile. This is this makes it meal number three, guys, and they will be all been exactly the fucking same. All right, guys, so check it out. Got to take a, a polygraph test. And um, these are the list of banned supplements. I'm not even worried about it because I don't even take anything. I thought I was going to have something on here like caffeine or marijuana. You know, I take those things. <laughs> I was worried. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> I went straight to the Ibs. Yeah, I was like, oh, damn. I hope they got marijuana on here. <laughs> Nah, I was straight, man. I don't take none of this crap. I can't even pronounce half these words. Oh, man. And what's your name? Chris Jones. Is that with a C? Yes. Yeah. What we do, if you raise your arms up, this one goes right, right below your underarms. It's the okay. same thing. Okay. Now, what do these things do? This here, it measures your upper part of your breathing, upper respiratory. All right, homies and homets. Just got done at the athletes meeting. Met a few pros. This is one guy, I forgot his name, but he won the Mr. Universe twice. And he's like 53 years old right now, is it? 56 years old and he's bigger than me. Like, I mean, he's not as lean as I am, but he's still thick than a motherfucker. He looks good for 56. Hell yeah. But anyway, man, so we were just chopping over the pros, talk about uh, where they want us to come out on stage, stand here, stand there. Uh, what music are we choosing? I just realized, guys, I didn't pick no music. And I've been so focused on doing my tour days and everything, I haven't even done a posing routine. So we got a lot of work to do tonight. I mean, I'm not gonna overdo it. Like, I'm just gonna do some simple shit. This is my first show. I'm just trying to get out there and get my feet wet. But here's the thing, guys. This is the small show. This is the first show they did out here in Tyler. This is the motherfucker right here, the Poseidon Classic. Bigger show. And it's like two weeks from now. Uh, a 50 50 chance we might do it, you know. What I mean, me and Denise are talking about it. Keep in mind, I don't prep alone, we prep together. I mean, I know Denise is not a fucking bodybuilder, <laughs> but she honestly, without Denise, there is no Chris Jones on stage. She, if it wasn't for her bringing those meals, coming to the gym, holding the camera, keeping me accountable, I would have quit a long time ago. So, we got we're gonna do this show tomorrow, and then we're gonna talk about. Either we're gonna just take a break from all this dieting bullshit or tighten up again and do this big show here and then call it quits. But in the meantime, one thing first, let's get through this weekend and see how we looking. You feel me? And I mean, Natural Pro has a nice ring to it, Chris Jones, Natural Pro. But that's not my life goal. My life goal would be one of the baddest motherfucking trainers that ever lived. Inspire a lot of people and to grow my motherfucking clothing line. Like, it should be bigger than what it is. And it's not as big as it should be because I've been slacking this year. I have been slacking this year. You know what I mean? So, those are my main focuses. This competing shit is for fun. So, I'm not going to constantly set myself back for shit that is just for fun. But it would be nice to do the show. Like I said, let's just get through this weekend. Uh, you know, see how many competitors show up. I'm a middleweight, by the way. Barely made the cut for middleweight. And that's great because heavyweight is like 175.5 up. 
up to 188. I am not trying to be standing next to nobody that's 188. I'm about to have my final pounds. meal and finish my last gallon of water and watch myself dry out. I'm about to pee all night. I'm going to be nice and tight in the morning. I'm going to take a little magnesium. I already had some this morning, but just in case, man. We decided to go ahead and keep the last meal the same. Just chicken, shrimp, more veggies, and, a, and, a, and, a, and some more rice cakes, guys. And I'm also, with my magnesium, I'm going to throw in some fiber, too. I want to ensure that all this food has plenty of time to go through me. And here it is, guys. Cheers. Bam. Like I told you guys, man, we prepping together pretty much, man. Baby taking good care of me, man. <laughs> Putting up with my fucking shit these past few weeks. What the fuck? A credible Crazy fucking ass. woman right Crazy here. Crazy ass black man. Man, incredible <laughs> fucking woman. Putting up with my fucking shit, helping me out, man. I can't thank you enough. So, guys, as you know, we got these socks coming soon. We're going to change it up, put the black around the lip. Yeah, I'm expecting a sample for the sock to come in real soon. As soon as it come in, it's a go. Denise, when we get home, apply some pressure on that motherfucker. We need them socks in. Yes, boss. All right, baby. And check this out. Look at this bag design. Look at all that logo action right there. Like I said, guys, man, I got to get back focused on my clothing line, man. Competing is fun, but I got I, I to gotta focus on my passion, and that's personal training and building a brand. All right, homies at home mitts. We had to go get this tan. I took me a shower. They tell you, make sure you exfoliate. I already did that. No lotion, no deodorant, though. That's kind of weird to me. But uh, I guess once the tan stains my skin and changes my color and dry, I can put some deodorant on later. You feel me? So I got my flip-flops on, my sweats, just grind hoodie. But you can get it at getholeready.com. I hope they have me looking like a bronze Greek god. You feel me? <laughs> Thought I'd share this shit with y'all, guys. We pulled over for the second time. What we about to do, baby? He got to go pee. I got to go fucking pee. I see I'm pulling water out. See, all these motherfuckers talk about how to do this. How to... Look, man, when you're natural, you ain't got to do a whole bunch of stupid pee week shit. You know, if you're dropping sodium, loading potassium, all this dumb ass shit. Look, water is the best diuretic you can ever get. Game time! Don't be jealous, guys. It's game right, time. Home mess. Just got sprayed. We got a light spray on the face. They're gonna hit me with one more spray on my face tomorrow. Look how dark I am in the waist. All right, so I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. When we get back to the hotel, I'm gonna be in my posing trunks. Okay, so warning: if you don't want to see that, stop the video. We will see you at the next video. But this is the bodybuilding channel. I'm gonna get my posing trunks. And I'm gonna hit a few posing, hit a few poses for you in my posing trunks with this fresh tan on, okay? So y'all stay tuned. Oh, Denise got her some water burger, man. Pretty soon I won't have to uh, watch her eat this shit. I can have me some too, shit. All right, homies and homies, so check it out. Here's my posing trunks. I, I might wear gold tomorrow or red. I'm not sure. What color you think I should wear tomorrow? She wants me to wear the gold. I might just go red or black, man. I feel like I'm doing the most with this shit right here. Like I'm doing the most. All right, just keep it modest, you know. Black? All right, we're just going to go solid black. But then again, gold stands out. And, you know, Pump Chaser's logo is gold. Yeah. What's, yeah, we'll just probably a big natty balls. All right, homies and home mates, here's the tan. As you see, I'm chocolate. Goddamn bronze statue status, chocolate Greek god. All right, I love it. I actually like it, man. This is why I'm looking like no pump, just you know, fresh from the tanning place. Let's show you the full body, okay? Let's see the symmetry. We got the shoulders width. We got the we got the back width, delts, waist streamlined. We're sweeping quads. We're gonna do pretty good. There you go, legs. I'm bringing it, baby. So anyway, me and Denise about to lay it down, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget, guys, we might have to do another show. This show is very small. It looks like everybody's doing physique, and I don't think anybody be able to show it up. You know what I mean? But hey, that's not my fucking fault. So there's this big bodybuilding, natural bodybuilding show in Houston called The Poseidon. I might, I might go ahead and do that. 
it just depends how I feel. I need some cheat meals, guys. I've been doing two a days, you know. I've been stressed. I need to relax, you know. Say there's nobody in your class. Yeah. And you win because there's nobody in your class. Yeah. But at least you go for overall. Look, if I get a fucking trophy for not competing against nobody, I don't want the fucking trophy. But you can still compete for overall. Overall? Let's just see who shows up. Look, guys, we'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for y'all for your support. Don't really like my shit. Come subscribe. How back at your boy.